So I was asked the question the other day how to change the text color in emails when you're typing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set your default text font size and color, as well as how to change it when you're typing out an email or replying to one. I'm also going to go through the different formatting options available to you, as well as how to quickly remove any formatting that you've done. And if you stick around to the end, I'm also sharing some keyboard shortcuts to help you save a bit of time. So let's crack on. So first things first, I'm going to show you how to do the default text font color and size. So to do this, you need to click on the cogwheel in the top right corner here and go to see all settings. In the general tab, if you scroll down to the default text style, which is this section here, and you can choose the font that you want. Just a quick word of warning though, um, if you're going to use your email for business or professional purposes, then stay clear of the Comic Sans. It's not very professional looking. It's a bit of friendly advice there for you. So once you've chosen the font that you like, you can then choose the size. So you've got small, normal, normal large and huge. And as you're changing, there is a preview underneath here. So that's going to show you what um, all the changes look like that you're making. So if I go back to normal, you can see that this text is now increased. You can choose your font color as well. Again, I would stick to something black or dark gray rather than an actual bright color. And if you want to reset um, the default style to what it was, then you click on this button here, which is remove formatting. So once you've made the changes and you're happy with it, don't forget to scroll down to the bottom and click on save changes. So that's how to set your default text. So when you're composing an email, if I just click on compose, I'll just enlarge this to make it so you can see it properly. So when you're typing out an email to change any of the text, font, size, color, etc., you need to click into the formatting options. So on your toolbar at the bottom here, you've got a, a letter A with an underline next to it. If you hover over that, it will tell you that it's formatting options. So you just click on there. And this is where you can find your fonts and all your formatting options, obviously. So you can overwrite the text font and size that you've just set as your default. You can actually overwrite that in, the email, in any email by clicking into the format options and changing it. So say, for example, I want this sentence here. I want this to be in a different font. I can just go in and change it. I can change the size. It's actually about as large. And then you have additional formatting options of bold, italics, underline and then the one next to there is text color so if you click on there here and you've got two options you have one for background color so this places a color behind the text so you can see there just undo that and then you have one that's actually for text color so you can go in and change the color of the actual text itself you can also change the alignment so this one here you can change to left, center, or right aligned. And you have your bullet options, so you can have a numbered list and you can have a bulleted list. I'll just change the alignment back to left aligned, so you can see numbered and bulleted. And then you have increase and decrease the indents. You can add a quote line, which is this faint line here, to say that this is actually a quote. And you can have a strike through, so if you click on, click on strike through, and you can see it's got a, the line going through it to strike it through. There's also the option of getting rid of all the formatting, which you do by highlighting the text first and clicking on this T with the cross through it here to remove formatting. And that will put it back to exactly how it was. And then to hide the formatting options again, you just click on the A, the underlined A again. So that's when you're composing an email. It's the same when you reply to an email. So if I click on here and I just click reply, click on the underlined A at the bottom here again, the formatting options, and it opens exactly the same formatting options as the previous step. Now, if you have an email where someone has asked you questions or has got a list that you want to respond to. So say, for example, this email, I've been sent a list of questions here. I, I want to reply next to those questions. So what you would do is click on reply as normal. And then the three dots here at the bottom of the email says show trimmed content. If you click on the three dots, that will show the email underneath that you're replying to. So you can type your answers next to the corresponding point or question. So I'll just quickly type my answers next to these. So you can see I've put my answers next to each one of these questions, but you can't really see it. So what I would do is highlight my answers here 
go into the formatting options and I would give it a different colour just so it stands out a bit more or make it bigger or bold it. Um, so I'll just make it red and then the same with all of these. And then at the very top of my reply, I would say something along the lines of see my replies below in red, click send. And you can see the email has been sent and these are my replies at the bottom here. So that's a quick tip. If you have a list of questions that you want to answer in the same email, then that's a quick way of doing it. So to remove any formatting, if you're composing an email in a smaller window and you want to remove the formatting that you've applied, if you highlight the text first, go to the formatting options and then the remove text, you can't actually see it. Um, you need to click on the more formatting options arrow over on the right hand side and the top button is the remove formatting. So you just click on there to remove any formatting that you've done. If you're actually replying to an email or if you have your emails set to automatically open in a bigger window, and if you want to know how to do that, then I'll include a link at the end of this video to an earlier tutorial to show you how to do that. Then the remove formatting button will be the last icon on the right hand side after you've clicked into formatting options. So it's visible here. So as I promised earlier, I'm going to show you a few keyboard shortcuts now to help save you a bit more time. So once you've pressed C to compose a new email or R to reply to an email, then the following shortcuts will work. So to make text bigger, highlight the text and press Control, Shift and the plus key to make it bigger. And if you want to make it smaller, press Control, Shift and the minus key to make it smaller. Then you have the standard shortcuts for use in any text-based apps or software. So Control and B will make the text bold. Control and I will put the text in italics and Control and U will underline the text. Moving on to the alignment, if you highlight the text first and Control Shift and L will make it left aligned. Control Shift and E will, will center align the text and Control Shift and R will move it over to the right. To insert bullet points, press Control Shift and the number eight, but make sure the eight is on your actual um, keyboard itself and not on the number pad, not on the numpad over on the right hand side. It has to be on the row of numbers across the top of your keyboard. So that will insert bullet points and control shift and seven will insert a numbered list. And again, use the seven that's on your keyboard and not on the numpad. And finally, to quickly remove formatting from any selected text. So if we just highlight all of these, and want to remove the formatting from it, then press Control and the backslash, and that will get rid of all the formatting that you've just done. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this video here will show you how to set your default email window to be large, like this window here, instead of the small window that opens up in the bottom right corner. I really hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.